I've got a police officer coming here and I'm not sure why, uh, but I'm going to wind my window down um, and see what he's like. Hey brother, how's it going? It's going good, how you doing? Good, good. We got a complaint that you were taking videos. I was. Of some of the stores and some of the people. Yes. Do you want to talk to us about what was happening? What would you like to know? My partner's on the other side as well. Do you just want to roll down your window? Do you want to step out and talk to us? I don't want to step out. If okay. I have to, I will, but I don't no want problem. to. No problem. Okay. Um, um, so what uh, what happened here today? Like, why were you taking videos? I'm just curious to know. Uh, nothing happened. I'm actually just kind of just trying to make some content. Okay. Um, so we're at the historic Rockwood Mall. It is early in the morning. The stores have not opened yet, but we're going to do a little walk around to see what the uh, mall looks like. It is a historic sort of site or mall, I guess you would say. It's been around for quite some time. And some of the stores, I think you'll be able to see that. And I'm just gonna go down one side and then come around the other. And we're gonna take a walk back around uh, coming around the other way, but you'll see a lot of elderly folks in there this morning. Right, you'll kind of see the type of uh, the type of carnival rides that they have for kids. I will let you know, sort of the age of the mall. I find the types of stores as well. Um, we'll do that. We got a jewelry store here. look in the cafeteria you'll be able to see that there's a lot of um, elderly people just kind of having their morning coffee chatting with friends um, and stuff like that right nothing too exciting as you can see none of the stores have opened yet and this is just a just a walk through the mall And what's going to be good is to see this place uh, with people walking around. Um, a lot of times you might not be able to see them all without people. So this is a good opportunity to kind of see what it looks like when there isn't all that commotion. stores like these that sell things like this right. what is this right here maximum deals so if you need anything you're going out this weekend you need some some fly clothes you know that's where the place is jewelry stand here let's see not much going on down this way but we're gonna go down this way but first we'll take a look that's a nice um, home store home sense again another one of those old sort of carnival games so you know the age of the small is what I find see places like these in the mall then you would know that the type of people that are patronizing it not that that's a bad thing it's just sort of the more regular everyday folks that you would see in a mall like this just regular people going about their business this is in Mississauga so You 
need your phone fix, you need a phone case. And that's a bank down at the end there as well. So there's a TD bank, and now we're looking at a CIBC. So they've got their banking covered. Imported rugs from all around the world. Now, what country makes the best rugs? I want to say Iran, but I could be wrong. What country do you think makes the best rugs? This again is another clothing store that, you know, the things that they sell is, you could have been rocking this stuff 20 years ago. And you would have been fly as a kite. Not much going on down this way, it's just the washroom. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here that's a, a little shoe store. Got Rockwood Dental. Need to take my ass to the dentist. And that's one of the entrance. That's the washroom. And we're gonna go back. Alright, so one more corner and then uh, we'll pop out. But this sort of gives you an idea of what a mall like this would look like early in the morning with just a few people around. And this is one of those places that you could get some of the nicest bootleg shoes, so to speak. So whatever you need, if you got a budget of $20 to maybe $60, $70, you could find something in here. What is this place called? Star Shoes. All right. And if you're looking for jewelry, you got VIX. And you got some stores with no signage. So that should tell you. you. Don't got money to be wasted on sign. We got clothes to sell. All right, so that's the type of... Uh, of mall that it is maybe it's not the most regulated maybe the rules don't apply very strict because more than anything they need people in the mall and it may not be easy to uh, get people to uh, rent a space in your in your mall so you know this place here has been around for quite some time this is a place that you know, sell shoes and all that kind of good stuff. And you can see it's a little bit more well put together. Deja vu. So if you're ever around Rockwood Mall in Mississauga, that's the place where you could take a look and maybe find yourself a pair of shoes. Forest. All these damn phones, so many phones. It's an aesthetic, so what they have in here is I believe a aesthetic sort of um, school where you might be able to get some certificate. Um, and I know that they also do work, so you're able to get a manicure, a pedicure, any of that type of stuff here from the students at what I believe is a reduced price. So, that's not bad. If you look, you got one person in here, I don't know, two people. They got stuff going on. Um, they're early. Uh -oh. How you doing? You got a little learning center in the mall as well so that's a nice little touch modern touch hair design if you know me you know that i don't need no hair design i just need my blade and one level shave it that's a go on.
Yeah, that's that one. Alright, so you got the Dollarama, you know the famous Dollarama where everything is now 250 and up. And I'm just gonna do a walkout um, of the mall now. Coffee time, where you could come and get your coffee. Real fruit bubble tea. We got a little bubble tea. And bit trust. So you could probably get all your Bitcoin and any kind of that type of stuff in here. And this is the TD that we spoke about. All right, that's our walk around Rockwood. In the morning, four things get going. 